so welcome back again to life with jennifer j you know as i was putting on this blouse you know i remember with the last time i put this blouse on and come and somebody messaged me to say why did you come in into a, a nightgown and it is not a nightgown i pay 12 dollars for this top it is cool and nice yeah not going to make with with them a kind of something not going to make with with um open sleeve this is not a night gown but i realized the shade a little that that look that way and maybe because of this uh -uh. it's very nice and cool for the climate anyway that's not where my combo we are stay on top of things you know because things are eat up with Christopher Tufton. Somebody is telling me after I sent me a message and said it's not it's not that him Brograd gave up him space. It's that Christopher Tufton intend to challenge him. So Tufton a promote up himself now. And I, but what I learned what somebody said to me people you see them I act like everything is alright? Christopher Tufton is getting good support. Christopher Tufton is getting good support. So there's a breakdown in the Jamaica Labour Party that they are trying to keep quiet. So we're watching every development. But Mr. Tufton, I have some question for you that I really, really, since you want to run for the ICE office in the land, and if you so win, if you so run for the office, and if you win, you will become the Prime Minister. And if you become the Prime Minister of Jamaica, whether I like you or not, you will be my Prime Minister, because you're going to be the Prime Minister for Jamaica. But before you could have convinced three quarter of Jamaica to vote for you there are some questions that you will need to answer some serious question you need to answer I want you to answer this question Mr. Tufton and I want you to remember this that this is a um from the Gleaner archive archives of the Gleaner December 15, 2019, Mr. Tufton. When you came out and we talk about, you know, say a long time the hospital there, Bill, and the can't done, Bill, and the addition them do, then you know better when you start one hospital from scratch. Listen to this. The Cornwall Regional Hospital will be better than before. The renovation, the head of the oversight committee overseeing the work say it will cost four billion and the completion is slated for the end of 2027 do you remember that sir can you come now and tell us what what is the the the, the, the now it's 24 so it's four years later now with upon the same thing all right three years plus because december not come yet so there is no way around it the repair of Cornwall Regional Hospital has been grossly mismanaged. What started out as a $2 billion renovation product over seven years ago remain incomplete and has ballooned into upward of $21 billion. We, you want to run for office. My, my viewers and my subscribers, this is a man who is Minister of Health want to come fool with all him hands out and all him all him all him goodies now renovating a hospital going seven years and from two billion to 21 billion dollar and the hospital can done the hospital can done this is the same hospital a little 17 18 year old girl that have tumor in her leg went to the other day and couldn't get to do chemo they told the parents that they have to have bed if they can take a bed because there is no bed at that hospital huh 
but you're coming out to tell us that you want to run for office. You're coming out with everything. But I'm going to let you hear what Dr. Daz have to say about it. Listen to what Dr. Daz have to say. Tough touch with the realities facing ordinary Jamaicans. Whereas the minister boasted about how much the health budget has increased over the last few years, what he has failed to acknowledge are the numbers that count. Our maternal mortality rate has jumped significantly and it is the highest that it has been in decades. Our neonatal mortality rate is higher than it was 25 years ago. The infant mortality rate is higher as well as the number of children dying uh, under the age of five years old. All of these significant health indices have worsened in spite of an increased spend, which means that we are not getting value for money and Jamaicans are worse off while we are trying, or they are trying to convince people that life has improved. The government has ignored the fact that cancers are on the rise. More Jamaicans are dying from cancer. More Jamaicans are victims of chronic diseases. And as a result of that, the burden of these chronic diseases on our health centers and hospitals remains above levels where they ought to be. Had there been serious investment in cancer treatment and prevention, screening and the provision of timely interventions at the level of the primary care, we would have less persons seeking assistance in hospitals. Unfortunately, they cannot get to see doctors and get adequate treatment to control their blood pressure, their diabetes, and as a result, we are seeing 7,000 Jamaicans annually getting strokes. To add insult to injury, we were promised increased ICU spaces during COVID. That period saw one of the largest capital investments in healthcare since independence. And in spite of donated them. Listen to what Dr. Daz have to say. Dr. Daz has been pointing out the flag. Dr. Daz you never have to point out nothing. You know. The Jamaica people see you. The people that where you the facility see. The people them see. So now because I'm intent for coming around for office now, but I want to, I, I, everybody are ambitious to be whatever they want to be. But there are some questions that you need to answer. Yes, I mean, I go in and I market me and all of them kind of story. I mean, I go down and all of them, them, them contract and them sit there. I mean, I go down that avenue there. I mean, I go in that avenue. I want, for now, I want you to come out, convince the Jamaica populace why they should vote for a Christopher Tufton to become Prime Minister of Jamaica. If you can't operate, what you do? Or you go around the country and if everything, if so much shot fall, we just have use that alone, you know. We have more for come out. You come out and look at all the goodies them with them in my show now, people. All kind of goodies, Mr. Tufton, come out now I show the Jamaican people that we are going to have. Let me read some of them. Announcement transforming L through policy and legislation. This year is a significant strive in the health public sector. They are going to have a key initiative for comprehensive tobacco control, effective regulation for natural health products, amendment to the funeral home operation. Oh, you are going to amend it now. You are going to amend it. I want to hear what is the amendment. Oh, hey, them people are slicking them, man. Hey, they can come with all kind of crap, you know. Amendment um, granting prescriptive rights to advanced practice registered nurse practitioner. So they are going to upgrade registered nurse now. When I hear them a kind of something, you know, don't. Uh, all them something yeah, this a man come out with. Let me see when the next one is so now. A whole heap of thing. I can't tell you all of them right now, my people. All of them I can ever tell you now. But little by little. So, <laughs> The story I get sweet as me get them ever make on the know, you know because we are gonna stay up on top of things. Eh? If you agree with me that him need to come explain and maybe if him explain, maybe he can change some people's heart. But if he can't come explain, 
nobody now go vote for you leave your views leave your comment and the conversation continue and i am your girl auntie jen and i'll catch you again bye